The coaches thought I'd lost my mind. I've opted not to tackle in our practices. You have two guys running into each other, backed up by two other guys running into each other for no real purpose. It's a huge change. We don't miss tackles like we did six, seven years ago. And I think our players are bought in completely. It's, it's just awesome to see when you have a ton of guys still playing together week nine, week 10. Having tackling dummies as opposed to going live every day in practice uh, is something that's going to make a transition from every level. We practice tackling more, we just didn't tackle each other. It makes you have to break down the whole process of tackling in segments. And that's what I think we really focused on doing that. We generated you know, more tackling drills for our circuits and focusing on each phase of, a, of an actual tackle. In my opinion, it's made us fundamentally sound across the board as a, as a, as a team. Before we went to a non-tackling protocol, we probably had 15, 18, 20 concussions, and now we're down to you know, one, two. I think that's a pretty impressive stat, and I think there's no question that it's, it has a lot to do with our philosophy on how we tackle and, and how we keep an eye on how many hits our guys are getting each week. The big thing was to put guys in a position that they would use on game day and replicate it in practice. How do you tackle without tackling each other? So that's where the, the landing pad, the different variety of dummies and pop-up dummies became very important to us. You've got to make it a safer sport. You know, our whole philosophy of not tackling guys to the ground, we're going that direction. They will be doctors, lawyers, engineers, investment bankers, and they'll be sharper down the road because they won't have accumulated the hits that they might in a uh, program that doesn't do what we do. You know, you can do the numbers and studies. You know, a lot of your injuries occur in practice um, because you've increased the amount of times that's going to occur. Definitely feel that uh, I've been healthier throughout this entire season than I have in the past two years at least. Being able to, you know, tone things back a little bit and, you know, use tackling dummies instead of hitting somebody that's hitting you has made an impact on me. It's, it's the greatest sport on, on the planet, and, but we need to continue to keep it that way. And in order for us to do that, you know, we've got to be smart. Unless we change the way we coach the game, we won't have a game to coach.